Alright, welcome back mga friends. Alright, so natin na naman tayo para sa isa ulit video for today. So, uh, may hilig ba kayo sa mga pagkain na ito? Yeah, may hilig ka ba dito sa pagkain na yan? At lalong lalo ba sa pagkain na yan? At gusto mo rin ba yung pagkain na yon? Yan. Uh, usapang matatabang pagkain tayo mga friends. At ang ipapaliwanag ko sa inyo ngayon or isishare ko sa inyo would be Uh, eating itong mga matatabang pagkain na ito at habang kinakain nyo siya usually ang alam natin ay ano, tataba at mo hospital tama? pero sa ngayon, ang ituturo ko sa inyo ay kabaligtaran yan maglulus kayo ng weight habang kumakain ng mga matatabang pagkain na ito okay? So yan, so stay until the end of the video and you'll know exactly what to do step by step on how you should be able to lose weight while eating itong mga matatabang pagkain na ito. Okay? Okay, so usapang matatabang pagkain tayo ngayon. Right? So if this is your first time in this channel, make sure you click on the subscribe button down there and don't forget to hit the notification bell for you to be notified of all uh, my upcoming videos which is related to fitness and health. Alright? So, okay, so usapang matatabang pagkain tayo. Yan. So commonly known as keto diet or ketogenic diet right so ano bang ibig sabihin ng ketogenic diet so um, let's define it very quickly uh, layman's term para mas mabilis maintindihan natin lahat no uh, ketogenic diet only means that um, we are using energy coming from fats instead of from um, glucose or sugar which we get from carbohydrates no Uh, usually, yung diet ng mga Filipinos are more on high-carbohydrate diet which is usually galing sa kanin. And uh, on the other hand, yung isashare ko sa inyo would be all about uh, ketogenic diet wherein ang pagkukuha na ng source, yan, source ng energy ng katawan would be coming from fats. Yan. Okay, so let's do this. I'll try to explain it uh, the simplest as I can. Dahil medyo komplikadong strategy or style itong ketogenic diet. And uh, kagaya na sinasabi ko sa ibang mga video ko, please make sure to um, consult a professional advice before you start any form of diet. Uh, I just wanted to ensure that you'll be healthy. you The diet that you'll be doing is fitted for you. Uh, based on your own health and not just merely based on success stories coming from other people okay and your own research so so game so ketogenic diet so let uh, from the meaning in itself um, the body will be getting energy coming from fats yan lang yan siya ketogenic diet no and um, ang goal ng ketogenic diet is for your body to enter ketosis Uh, yan yung term ng katawan uh, wherein you continuously eat fat and I'm talking about good fats yan. and once there's enough fat that is in your fat body which kalamas, kalamasa naman na pakaraming taba <laughs> dito sa katawan ng tao is ang goal is pasukin yung ketosis so that um uh, mag-start ng fat burning process yung katawan. Okay? So, in technical term, usually, uh, kailangan mong um, mag-reach ng somewhere about 0.8 millimoles per liter para masabing nasa ketosis, ketosis mode ka na. No? Um, maybe in the next video, I'll share with you on how you would know if you're in a ketosis mode. 
um, if you are successful in doing a ketogenic diet, but that's on a different module or different video. So, but right now, um, if you really just again wanted to know about um, when your body is in ketosis, um, go ahead, go to the comment section below. Right now, sige na, pumunta ka na, hintayin kita. Comment mo na, if you wanted to learn about ketosis and how many is needed and how would you know pala how would you know if you're in ketosis ketosis mode sige comment mo in thank kita huy ngayon na comment mo na yan sige na in thank kita okay game so thank you for doing that um, comment in, in that uh, video so keto diet fats no um, let's talk about forms of fats first right there are four forms or types of fats so um, this is very important that you need to know this dahil um, if you take if you get this wrong and you start doing a, a high fat diet then you'll be in a bad situation no and we don't want you to be in that situation so understanding the four types of fats first so there are four types of fats number one is saturated fats second is your polyunsaturated fats you have next is your monounsaturated fats and the last fat that you need to know and this is the worst fat that you need to know also is what we call trans fat no so those are the four types of fat and uh, let's go ahead and define them very quickly. So, ano ba tong four types of fat na ito? Okay, so, i-define na natin yung mga four types of fats, right? So, I think much better, let's just give example para mas mas mabilis nyo maintindihan ko ano yung klase ng four uh, types of fats. So, uh, let's start first with uh, saturated fats. So, ano ba yung mga example and forms ng saturated fats so para mas maintindihan natin mas mabilis no okay so ito yung four types of saturated fats so examples of saturated fats ito yung pinaka common and usually um, guilty tayong lahat dito example ako na rin is also a guilty of eating this kind of fat so saturated fats we get this from mga processed meats like ham tocino sausage uh, any processed meat, longanisa, that you can think of, uh, that's where we get all the saturated fats. Okay? So, ano naman yung uh, polyunsaturated fats? So, ano naman yung mga example ng polyunsaturated fats? So, ito yan siya. So, we get um, fats from, or polyunsaturated fats from food like um, yung fish oil. Uh, you get this type of fat also coming from nuts. You also get this type of fats from soya oil, sesame seed, um, flax seeds. So, yan yung mga good example ng uh, polyunsaturated fats. So, ano naman yung monounsaturated fats? So, ano naman yung mga types ng monounsaturated fats? So, ito naman yan siya. So, an example naman ng mga uh, monounsaturated fats is, example is, coming from avocado yan. Uh, avocado, uh, pistachio, almonds, peanuts, yan, one good source of un poly, sorry, monounsaturated fats. Ano pa ba? Um, olive oil, olives and olive oil, yan, yung mga good example ng polyunsaturated fats. So, lastly, ano naman yung um, trans fat? So, usually, nakukuha natin yung mga trans fats sa mga fried na pagkain. So, anything that you fry, uh, automatic yan siya, no? Uh, trans fat ang makukuha natin dyan. And those are the things that we don't want to uh, put in our body in terms of when we are doing a ketogenic diet or keto diet. All right. So, now that we have defined, yan, yeah, na-define na natin or nagkaroon na tayo ng better understanding kung ano yung mga types ng fats na um, ini-intake natin. So, this time around, we need to be more careful when um, 
taking yung mga fatty foods, right? We have to select uh, kung anong klase ng fat. And if you are thinking of doing a ketogenic diet and you think you're doing it the right way, at kung puro mga processed foods lang yung kinakain mo, then uh, think again, my friend. Alright? So, you, you might be doing not the, the clean ketogenic diet, but you might be doing the dirty keto diet, right? And I think um, this is the the notion of uh, most of the people who's doing a keto diet. No? So, dahil sa alam nilang, it's more of fats, uh, medium protein, and very low carbohydrate. So, yan yung alam nilang ketogenic diet. And which is true, wala naman mali doon. Usually, ang ratio is 70 for fats, 20 coming from your protein, and 10% coming from your carb, carb, carbohydrates. And there's nothing wrong with what any form of fat that you would take. But again, you just have to be very careful on which fat you will put in your body. Kasi um, usually, lalo na yung mga processed meats or processed foods, alam naman natin na uh, it's very high in form of yung mga carcinogens, right? So we have to be very, we have to take it very lightly. So, ano yung usually mga tinitake ko? So, let me go back. So, after we have defined it. So, ano ba yung mga ginawa ko? Uh, okay. So, I, I, as I mentioned in uh, one of my video, and if you haven't uh, seen that, uh, I explained it here um, in this video here that, uh, I don't know if it's here or here. Uh, sorry, I can't remember. Um, so, go ahead and click on that if you haven't watched that yet. Uh, I mentioned uh, I mentioned there that um, I only did the keto diet on my last month. Actually, last three weeks na nga lang yun yata nung pagda-diet ko. Uh, that's when I start practicing yung ketogenic diet. And um, at first, I did it also wrong because uh, yun nga, I'm, I'm doing pala dirty keto dahil most of the things that I'm eating are yung processed dahil for for whatever reason medyo tinatamad mag-prepare ng pagkain yung real food no so puro processed food na lang and uh, there's nothing wrong with that again it's what matters there is um, you just have to take it moderately yung yung pagkakain ng mga processed meat no so ketogenic diet um, if you do it the right way you'll definitely be successful right but you have to ensure first that you get a go signal from your doctor that you will be doing this dahil kung uh, by nature by by natural yung yung body body system or body structure mo ay uh, mataas na sa fats and cholesterol then um, doing a keto diet may not be the right diet style for you right baka mas lalo lang mapa, masama mapasama o mapalala yung gusto mong gawin na pagda diet okay Alright, so ang ginawa ko is uh, more on, uh, when I eat meat, I choose meat that are more, that yung, yung combination niya or yung, yung cut niya, yung hiwa ng meat, ay mas madami yung fats. Um, usually, mga 60-40. 60, 40. 60 fat content, 40 um, yung pure meat content ng fat na kakainin or nung, nung meat na kakainin ko. Uh, when I take very low carbohydrates, I don't, uh, as I mentioned sa isang video ko also, um, I'll put it in the description box below um, in my low carb video diet. Um, I mentioned that I really never took out uh, carbohydrates in my daily meal. I still take it but um, together with keto, I only take those foods that are very low in carbohydrates like yung nga, yung mga alternative food. Usually kasi ang sinasabi nila, if you do your own study, um, sa internet, may kita mo usually mga, ibibigay nila example, cauliflower, broccoli, these are these are all um, good food and I have nothing against them. Pero kung sa isang normal na budget-friendly na diet, baka minsan yung, yung maasa, uh, hindi kayang bumili uh, ng broccoli lagi dahil medyo prices siya. So may mga alternatives naman. Uh, that will give you the same low carb carbohydrate content for you to be successful in your keto diet. So example good one is yung kangkong, uh, sitaw, uh, ano pa ba? 
uh, yung pipino or cucumber uh, I also did yung repolyo yan mga mga murang carbohydrate diet na in replacement sa mga pricey na carbohydrate na green leafy vegetables right so um, sabi nga doon more on fats right so yun yung ratio ng meat na tinetake ko usually mga 60 70% ng meat has a lot of fat then remaining yung pure meat and that's where i get the protein uh, i also take um, yung fat coming from mga cheese yan uh, i take that as a form of fat and one more thing would be coming from coconut oil okay so yan yung mga form ng fats na tinake ko when i was doing uh, my keto or keto diet yung last three weeks ko nung nagda-diet ako so that's what I did and um, it took me a while for me to be able to be successful on that then I still have to do a little trial and error um, and if you don't do it right uh, may mga side effects din siya no? so maybe next time I'll share with you um, the side effects of yung ketogenic diet if you don't do it the right way um, so there so yan yung ginawa ko um when I did my keto diet, so there's really nothing um, to explain too much in terms of my experience with that because yun nga, dahil three weeks ko lang siya ginawa, I did, really didn't take it for a long time. Dahil, um, sabi ko sa inyo, in my few of my videos, naturally matas yung cholesterol level ko. Um, kahit ma matas na yung protein intake ko and less carbs, so natural matas yung cholesterol ko. So I cannot take and be on a long ketogenic diet. So, I cannot just do that. So, that's why I had to take it only a very few uh, small time lang yung gagawin yun siya. No? So, so there. Um, uh, uh, ayan. So, watch out kayo sa next mga videos ko. I'll explain to you kung bakit uh, ganito ako ng ganito. Okay? So yeah, so um, thank you for watching until the end of the video. So if you learned something today um, in this video, please make sure to comment uh, down below. Um, please click on that thumbs up. Don't forget to share it to your family and friend also. Please help me uh, share this content to people who think you would benefit out from this content or this video. Alright, so see you again tomorrow. Bye.